Well, this has been our Creekside spot here. Spent about a week here. This was just kind of a downtime camp. We did get out for a little walk here and there. Found the old Donnelly cabin. And I kind of hung around camp and did some carving. Carved up these two guys. Not quite finished yet, but it's got something to show for the stay here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. We're kind of down in a canyon here. Haven't had cell service for a while and uh, not much sun. So we're going to head up on the ridge line and see what the view is like from up there. We're supposed to have some clear skies today. It's looking like it's breaking up already. Get this beast fired up. Goodbye, Creekside Camp. Time to head up this hillside. Get into some sun. We've been down in this uh, deep valley here, so we've only got a few hours of sunlight. It takes till almost noon for the sun to come up over the horizon, and then it's gone down the other side below the horizon by about 3 in the afternoon. So it'd be nice to get back out into uh, open space here. Okay, we are back on pavement. I'm hoping this pavement lasts the rest of the way here. We're going to have to climb up quite a ways. Up at uh, where we meet the highway, it's at 4,400 feet. A fun drive. It is super pretty through here. Kind of winding our way up this hillside. Been going for a good few miles already. And uh, we came in good four or five miles from the highway on the other end. So it's a good stretch of forest road here. The Cherokee National Forest here in Tennessee. Okay, we are coming up on the North Carolina state line here. Moving from the Cherokee National Forest of Tennessee to the Nantahala National Forest of North Carolina. And that would be the scenic uh, skyway we're passing under here. We made it to the top, made it to North Carolina. We're back on the Cherokee Scenic Byway, Skyway. Sign said 4,300 feet. Lined up quite a ways on that dirt road. Back into Tennessee. Little town of Copper Hill, Tennessee. Or Copper City. I think it's Copper Hill. Yeah, Copper Hill, Tennessee. Should be crossing right into Georgia here pretty quick. This is the state line. Hello, Georgia. Goodbye, Tennessee. Had a great time, Tennessee. We'll be back. For now, it's on into Georgia. We pulled off the highway. We are hunting down another creekside camp. Cows are running up the hillside to check us out here. Well, this is a pretty narrow road. It does look like there's some spots to pull over in case someone's coming the other way. 
but it is pretty tight. The sun is just starting to set over the horizon, so we're hoping this works out. We don't really have a plan B, which I typically like to, especially when we're pushing in and into the dark like this, but I think it's going to work out. Did a little research, and it sounded like there was some little pull-offs right next to a creek down here some private property intermingled in here in the National Forest, so we'll see what uh, pans out here. Pack it in, pack it out. Looks like there's a little pull-off for a tent spot there. Keep going, see if there's any other spots. You gotta be careful on the side of this road. It's a little juicy. I just had to pass a car and almost got stuck. Looks like there is a little clearing in here by the creek. There is some muddy spots, but I think we can squeeze in here. Try to back her in. Well, this is our little creek side spot here. A little mud hole, but it's flattened out over here. Kelly found a nice level spot next to me there. Right next to this little creek, pretty nice. There's a little bridge here, and it looks like there's some nice tent spots on the other side of the creek. The rain is coming down. That's pretty delicious. You like it? <laughs> well, the rain came in last night. We were hoping it was going to hold off till this afternoon. Uh, this road coming in here was a little sketchy. There was some pretty soft, muddy spots, as well as just the area where we're camped here. So I'm going to step out and inspect it. I think we're okay. We're on some gravel right here. But again, uh, on the road, there was some pretty sketchy spots. So our plan was just to overnight here anyway, although last night I started to consider maybe staying a second night, but we're pretty sure we're gonna move on. We're trying to get a little bit of miles behind us. Uh, we have plans, we wanna be somewhere for Christmas. So that is kind of why we're moving a little quicker through, ten or through Georgia and moved a little quicker than we'd have liked through Tennessee. But this spot is really nice. It was nice to hear the creek all night last night amongst the pitter-patter of the rain. Cool little spot. First camp in Georgia. Gosh, and I think about 20 years. Camped in Georgia a few different times. Uh, my cross-country trip back in my mid-20s. But it's been since then, so about 20 years. Crazy. We did see a backpacker heading up the road here. I'm interested and curious. If it wasn't raining, I probably would have rode my bike up there to explore some more, but with this kind of stuff happening here, we're feeling like it's best just to move on. I almost got stuck coming in yesterday and it hadn't rained yet, so we're probably gonna be moving on here soon. 
thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed the video got a little behind on getting uh, videos edited and uploaded uh the van broke down on me while i was out in the woods and i had no sun on the solar panels so i wasn't really able to power my laptop and uh yeah had me down for about a week so i was able to get the van repaired and up and running but i'm having some other issues so this is an old van it's uh you know just at that time of its life where it's going to start taking a lot more maintenance so apologize for the delays and videos we hopefully can get back up to speed here and bring you up to date hope you all have a happy new year and we'll see you soon take care peace